Welcome back to another Blank Boy video. But not only that, we got beautiful ladies today. I asked these ladies, did you, have you ever watched Transformers? And they said, yeah, I watched Transformers. Yo, my name is Zella, aka X. I'm from Chicago. I'm kicking it with your boy today. We reacting to stuff. Hi, guys. My name is Ariel. I'm from Los Angeles. Um, I'm a nail tech. So if you guys, you know, want to get your nails done, you know, and are in Los Angeles, hit me up. You know, my socials are on Instagram, A-A-R-R-I-3113. My TikTok is Tutor Hooter, but I'm not a tutor. <laughs> but today we're going to be reacting to videos with your boy. And yeah, that's basically who I am. Um, For my fit check, I don't really have nothing like going on, to be honest. I have this like, glue compression okay. shirt on. And then, oh, uh, well, I can't really show you, but I have these okay. white... They say funky monkey on them, but I don't really know where they're from. Thank you. Hey guys, my name's Olivia. You guys can follow me on all my socials at Kathal, K H T H O W. Um, this is my first time on the channel. Thank you for having me. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's see the outfit of the day, though. I like the, sh the shirt. Oh, yeah, I just cut the shirt. Cool. shirt, and I just have like a little jumpsuit under it. Okay, jumpsuit. Okay. 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 You know? Their Sentinel already slimed out my guy Ironhide. Optimus starts pressing him, telling him, Come down here and face me. Hold on, why are Ryan Pax talking spicy like this? Wasn't you a Liberian on Cybertron? Nah, Sentinel Wallen calling him by the whole government is insane. Who are you, his mother? Sentinel then jumps off the building, sliding down the side, landing all cool like, and he's out for blood. Wants all the Autobots dead right now. It's past your time, Unc. I'm not scared of a transforming overhead projector. Everything Optimus says is always so cold, no matter what it is. Goat, Bro could be like, way. Bumblebee, where's the PB&J? And, and little me would be like, oh. Did you hear that? Optimus <sighs> readies his weapons and runs in, hitting Sentinel with the axe and then stabbing him in the chest and then again with the axe. Oh, but come on, Unk Sentinel wasn't going to go out that easy. Brody got resurrected and instantly started fighting off the wake up. Not even a morning stretch. This war shit is all he knows. Optimus goes for another stab, but Sentinel hits him with that vet move, pushing him off and kicking him to the ground. The and Optimus doesn't even get a chance to breathe some fresh carbon monoxide, because Sentinel goes in getting blocked and hits him in the head, blocks his axe, misses the sword, but uppercuts him, misses again, and gets blocked. And that's all it took. Sentinel getting hit once to be like, nah, forget all that running one sh**. Calls in reinforcements from the sky. So they all turn around to go towards Optimus to try to send him to the Tupac meet and greet with his other dead Autobot friends. Which now that I think about it, there's no way you can convince me that Ironheart and Jazz weren't black. Yep, that's two for two. Michael Bay gotta be racist. Optimus <laughs> slashes up with the axe and misses, goes for a kick and misses again, getting his head grabbed and kneed away. Which, to be honest, actually did him a favor because the fleet that Sentinel called in is on its way and they start blasting at Optimus as he goes to grab his gun and try to fight back. That nigga got a lightning strike off one kill. I'm about to report his to be hacks. But while Optimus is camping, the Autobots start jumping Sentinel. Ratchet getting sliced away, B hitting a clean reverse, and Sideswipe jumps up to get slammed back down. But they really not doing much. I mean, look at the size difference. That's what I'd be imagining when I see those what's the most amount of 10 year olds you could beat in a fight at once questions. Why do people ask questions like that though? No. I mean, 10 year olds, do y'all think y'all could be in a fight? I could be like 20 of them. Yeah, yeah no, you can think suddenly waves of them. You think so? Y'all got it like that? Yeah. Yeah. 20 teen year olds? Yeah. Bro, yeah. I can beat you up. Like, you can beat me up? Yeah. Yeah. I could be 20 of you. Yeah, she she trolling, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to comment. She, 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 she's pushing it too far, though. I don't know if she think rainy weak. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like she, she, she trolling. She said 20 of me is crazy. That's like... I think 20 of us all... That's like... I already know how to beat you. You do? That's about it. <laughs> she already know how to beat me. It's crazy. <laughs> this girl's crazy, man. I'm Optimus Prime right now, bro. She thinks she can beat me. Bro, all I have to do is trigger your allergies. All 20 of y'all out. Wow, that's crazy. You thinking too deep now. She is. <laughs> that's crazy. Optimus tries to shoot back, but there's too many, so he dives away and gets blasted by rockets. 
So then while Sentinel is fighting off the Autobots, he gets blasted by a missile as well that got him doing a whole backflip. And while he's on the ground, these YNs show that they don't play, trying to turn Unkid to Swiss cheese. So he turns into his 1920s fire truck form to dip out while Optimus chases from behind. Eventually and eventually Prime catches up to Sentinel, stabbing him before he could even transform, missing the second one and the next two get blocked. Sentinel's got his back against the wall and the other Decepticons, Soundwave, Shockwave, Starscream, are all new fax machines, so he's on his own. As he blocks Optimus's barrage of attacks, gets knocked down, hit in the back of the head, weaves, smacks the sword, and slices. While Optimus is on the back foot for a quick second, Sentinel is able to stand back up to fight fairly now, and goes for a Superman hit, getting blocked, blocks Optimus, and misses the spin move, and is able to knock Prime Axe out of his hands. But that's not enough, he wants Optimus to have to resort to throwing dirt or biting, straight G-League moves, cause he kicks away his other weapon, stabs him in the right oh. shoulder, and straight rips that shit off. And Didn't if you they look at film Optimus, he one of the Transformer it. fights in Chicago? They did? Yeah, I think so. This look like Chicago right now to me, or New York, this would look like this scene, just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I didn't even know that though. Hey, I gotta give it up to the people who even made Transformer. The fighting scenes is crazy for me. Like these robots. Thanks. Crazy. Bro got his this knees touching like he shit. gotta take a piss. So. Optimus is on the island alone right now. So Optimus gets clocked by the shield, stabbed in the other shoulder, and his face starts getting dragged across the floor. He was really doing our goat dirty. Niggas need to scrub this shit from the internet like we did for Braun. Optimus even starts begging, gets kicked away, and as Sentinel is about to call GG on Prime, literally right before he could finish the job out of nowhere a random homeless nigga runs up and starts shooting him in the back unloading three shells into sentinel's back and you could tell by what he does right here he ain't forget how sentinel bitched him in front of everyone for no reason because he grabs him slamming his face kicks him in the head punches him grabs his head stabs him and just rips out his guts that was od then bro had the nerve to be like hey optimus let's team up type shit i just saved you I don't know what bro was expecting. A congratulations, a butt slap, him supplying you a new face? You gonna have to hit up Starlight for that, my boy. Whoa. Cause Optimus puts on the shiesty, throwing the axe at Megatron, kicks him down, slashes his head, and then stabs it. It's crazy, cause Megatron <laughs> offered Optimus Prime a yeah. deal, and my nigga, you could've just said nah, but instead he decides to straight up rip this man's head off. Megatron shouldn't have acted shit. All the worst he could say is no, huh? But there's still a snake slithering. So before that pussy could sign with Golden State, Optimus picks up, loads up, and blasts bro in the chest. But Optimus isn't making the mistake of giving Sentinel 14 tries at this bitch. You tried to take <laughs> over the world, and you failed gang. Game Bad over. Man, now hold this other shell so I can make sure you really dead for real. But while we're on the topic of Decepticons being put on a poster, still can't forget how bro right here was 20 dating Cade's 17 year old daughter. Oh, I no remember when Cade pressed him too. He said, Because this is illegal. She's a That's minor. Great. That's great. Mother Romeo and Juliet Law, Statute 2705 3. Crazy. Nigga had that shit on the back of his hand recited like the Pledge of Allegiance. This is a sick Negro. So Optimus is running in and off rip lockdown is letting his nuts hang. This man just jumps out of a spaceship, blowing up the building to surf through the fire and rubble. 9-11 type with shit. the fight intro, he trying to one up Prime. But I don't know if going into an aura off with Optimus is something you want to do. Got a better chance seeing Wilt's 100 point game. And we got fucking spaceship footage before that. Optimus has to duck out the way as Lockdown flips into a punch that gets blocked. Listen, on Earth, this is big prime, but on Cybertron, they might have had my goat making corner store runs, cause he gets grabbed like low bro and grown, and they take turns blocking each other. We then see Kate's daughter telling B to go back, we gotta go help my father. Fuck you, bitch, shut the fuck up, bitch. But if I'm posted up with a new computer maker, he'll be alright. Optimus blocks him, <clears throat> block, but loses his gun and gets kicked in the head. Optimus then hits the Superman punch on lockdown into a knee. Cage just camping, spectating the fight, and that's cool and all, but why not put all this energy elsewhere? You have no money and are homeless still. Isn't Optimus supposed to be one of the best leaders in fiction? How about you inspire this nigga into a job? Optimus hits him with the left, gets smacked twice, and gets his arm grabbed into a kick. But while goddamn aliens are beefing, humans can't Isn't stop fighting serious? with each other still. I knew we were cooked when it was 2020 and the teachers were still pressing me over homework. Nigga, we are in the midst of an apocalypse. Optimus hits him twice with the shield and a kick, jumping over his arm, and he keeps K getting pressed by Unk over there. But we already know what Optimus said. I have sworn to never kill humans. So what is he really supposed to do? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, yeah man, Optimus Resolve is as strong as the road He swore that shit like an hour ago, and now this man has charred me on the ground. But Optimus gets snuck, going for a right, but getting hit with one instead, and while on the floor trying to catch his breath, Lockdown kicks his ass. And as if that wasn't bad enough, Lockdown takes his own sword and stabs him in the chest with it, sticking it through him into the pillar he's leaning on. Hey, I'm just gonna say it. Use that diamond no test on against him and that shit say he's a fraud. He be getting waxed in these oh. final battles religiously. Mm -hmm. Bumass nigga, your paint job getting messed up. Your this nigga used crayons on his shit. Crayons. But they paid millions for Mark Wahlberg <laughs> to be in this movie, so gotta this give him his hair bro damn it's screen time. As he second. runs in while Optimus trips Lockdown, then Cade hits him in the shoulder. But just in time, Bumblebee rolls up with Tessa and R. Kelly. And B wastes absolutely R. no Kelly. time transforming into a row and throwing the van at lockdown. Got him looking like he's ready to tell us how it's bigger than black and white. While Bumblebee runs into a deep double kick. Cade said, oh yeah, we not running once. And he starts blasting while Bumblebee kicks lockdown and blasts him away. Optimus is watching all this happen, but he's still thumbtacked to the wall. Hey Bumblebee, cook up twin, you my idol. Nah, this is shameful. Optimus moving like Bruce with Nightwing. Dudes be 45 talking about some, I'm trying to be like you big bro. Bumblebee goes for another kick, but gets grabbed, dragged through the ground, and slammed dumb hard. And then Lockdown sees Cade, and he decides he's next. But Cade and Optimus locked in like this. Oh, if Prime if I shoot, shoot, he gonna shoot with shoot. him. If, Prime if I gotta die, die my Cade man die with, die with him. Cade standing oh, ten toes. I promise you that. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cade picks back up the Cybertronian gun and starts blasting back, hitting Lockdown twice. And while Lockdown is for whatever reason got Stormtrooper aim now, Tessa and the Minecraft YouTubers set up a cord to help free Optimus, using it to trip <laughs> Lockdown, and then Cade shoots him. The face lockdown losing all his ore right now about to transform into the paddy wagon as he tries to get up and gets his legs blasted off trying to stab cave and i don't even know why optimus or bumblebee even pulled up this nigga cade is a super soldier the way he was able to survive through all these attacks being thrown at him but i knew it really got bad when lockdown tries to shoot at cade but cade blasts his arm off and then stops his stab like bro what the hell avengers justice league somebody sign this nigga eventually though tessa and the spawn camper free optimus and he hits this clean spin move to grab his sword while cade is getting pressed by lockdown he sneaks lockdown from the back right through the chest and just to make sure he don't spin the block 12 times like megatron slice that man in half that's that's called gg forever what is that gas yeah, took it him out the game took him out though man nah that was fire bro i'm gonna ask y'all ladies if y'all could be any car transformer what would y'all be starting with your number one uh i'd be like a gtr okay oh i love the, the nissan yeah. Oh yeah, you know about your cars then. Okay, that's that'd be hard yeah. though. <laughs> but what about For you, number uh, two? A car that I would be. Yeah. Um, probably the Cadillac CT5. Damn, how y'all know y'all cars, bro? Y'all know y'all cars, huh? Because that's the yeah. car I'm putting down for. Okay. okay. Women know about cars. Uh -huh. They want, yeah, cars they want. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Yeah, I don't know nothing about cars. I don't know nothing. I just know how to turn it on and go. No, I feel that though. That's what, real. What about you, number three? I'm gonna say Honda Pilot. You know, hear me out. You hear me? Out. Big body, right? Okay. You know. I feel like when I transform, I just be big as hell. Oh yeah, that's smart though. That is. I'll just be big as hell. Great mileage, you know, all-wheel drive, all that. Oh, that's smart, though. You think it's big, though. I feel like the bigger the car, the better the armor you got, right? Yeah, yeah. That shit. No, actually, Cyber Truck. Oh, a Cyber yeah, Truck. Oh, no. Oh, if they came out with a Minecraft car, I'd be that. Oh, yeah, true, though. Cyber Truck, I never thought about that. I would be. Mm -hmm. Cyber Truck gives Transformers. Yeah, it gives yeah. it, though. I'd be like, let me get it yours. That's what I'll be. Okay. Oh. I can be fast. I'll be big too. I'll be fast and big. And yellow. I feel like you get Bumblebee. Yeah, I get a yellow one too. Yellow Bumblebee. But yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Go follow these beautiful ladies on social media. Get it. Let's go.